Here's five virtual assistant tech skills that business owners are hiring and needing and looking for right now. Hey, I'm Emily Reagan. I've been working in the online space as a freelancer since about 2013. And I help behind the scenes with everything from pitching to digital marketing to email marketing to helping course creators launch to blogging and social media like all of the things i told you all of the things i love the variety of work but i'm also in this privileged position where i talk to a lot of business owners and i know what they're looking for and i know what is marketable and i know how to accelerate you getting hired and picking up the client work so you can make money working from home this is an empowering position to be at these days where especially as a woman and as a mother, you can work at home and have the freedom and flexibility to set your own hours and work on the things that you actually love and work with the clients and the people you love, right? All right, so I wanna talk about the five things that a virtual assistant can be doing tech-wise that will really help out a business owner will open the doors to you getting even more work. Okay, number one, social media scheduling. Here's the thing. Business owners are inundated, whether they have a brick and mortar or an online business, everyone's supposed to be showing up on social media. We're supposed to be on the gram, on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on Pinterest, on YouTube, TikTok. It is overwhelming. And the 80-20 rule dictates that business owners should not be working at the 80% of their business. They need to be focusing on the 20% that is income producing. So that means hiring out that other 80% which is where we come into play as digital marketing virtual assistants. Okay, so scheduling social media is a big one. You could save your client a couple hours a week by doing that, by taking their content, having them write it, and scheduling it to the right platforms, using the right scheduling tools, tweaking it to fit each platform because every algorithm is a little bit different, like a finicky little jealous boyfriend, they want things done their way, and you're gonna make that work. You can also help with the engagement, the hashtag strategy, um, looking at the analytics, like oh, when's a good time to post, and just helping the client do that, get it off their shoulders so they can be doing other things in their business that make them money. Maybe they're filming a course, maybe they're doing one-to-one -one client work, maybe they have a group coaching program they need to run, speaking gigs to book, visibility to work on, things that only they can do, you can help take the social media scheduling tasks off their plate. What's cool about that is you don't have to be a copywriter. You don't have to start off knowing the strategy as much. You can just help them do the work, the techie work, of integrating and getting their scheduler to talk and figuring out the data and behind the decisions. And then that will open up a lot of other doors, right? If you can start doing the scheduling, so much will open up. All right, number two is email marketing. It's the same premise as social media, but this time you're doing it with an email because business owners are supposed to be doing an email at least once a week. Sometimes they do more and they need somebody who can take the email they've already written and format it and get it ready for their ESP, their email service provider. ESP like ConvertKit, MillerLite, Entreport, Active Campaign, Kajabi, MailChimp, I'm sure you've heard of those. They need help with that. And they also want someone on their team who's familiar with their ESP because that's not something they should be doing long term in their business. They need to be hiring that part out and you can step in by formatting it, doing the graphics, learning the audiences, who do you tag, who do you exclude, paying attention to the numbers and stepping up, tracking some of those open rates, some of those click rates and seeing what is successful and what's working. Like what time of day should I send the emails out? Uh, testing different content, testing different subject lines to see what will get the best performance and paying attention to the replies and what people are asking for. So email marketing is a big one and it's just techy enough where you don't need a rocket science, but it's not something anyone can do. You're not gonna hire someone to do it for like $10 an hour. If you can do the email marketing, that will open up doors to get involved with launches, that'll open up doors to get involved with um, other parts of their business and even maybe copywriting can be really fun. I love I love helping with email marketing because clients have a hard time showing up consistently. That's why they hire people like you and me to help them get on a schedule, come up with a plan and stick to it and show up. Social media and email marketing. Um, with that comes number three, community management. I talk about that a lot here in 
the this YouTube channel. I actually have a quick start to Facebook community management if that's something you want to learn. But here's the thing. Business owners usually have a free Facebook group, um, which is part of their funnel, their top of funnel. They might have a paid Facebook group where they put their paying clients, like in a course. It could be temporary. It could be permanent. It could be like an alumni group, or it could be a membership. A lot of memberships have a, a Facebook group to support it. They need help managing that, engaging it, moderating it, letting in people who've paid, kicking out people who are quitting, and being the pulse of the community, but also using that information in a way that's going to help their business. Collecting voice of customer data, uh, coming up with engaging topics, like being that middleman to kind of understand like where, are, what are some good things happening and what are some things that we could do better. So it looks professional to have a community manager and have someone on your on the team to kind of interact at a deeper level when the business owner is kind of off doing some other things and in the weeds there. And some of those tasks can be as simple as engaging scheduling posts. So there's a little bit of crossover with the social media scheduling, but also like following up when there's questions, managing that inbox on Facebook, that can be so overwhelming. So number four, one of the techie areas people need help with, not so techie where it's intimidating, calendar management and scheduling. So if you're coming from an office, you've done this before. You probably worked in Outlook. But these days in the online world, we use a lot of Google Calendar. We use a Google Workspace a lot. And there are some programs that will help integrate with your calendars, depending on what you use. And having a VA who can help them get their um, invoices talking with their calendar. So if someone books a link, then they get the invoice, get in the right automation to go to the next thing. So I suggest getting familiar with Calendly. Acuity is another good one. Sometimes it's a solution like Dubsado, which is a business manager that has the booking information too, or booking way, booking links and whatnot. Sometimes that can be with a website as well. So helping with that part of the business is very much needed, making sure those workflows are working and that the things are talking and the client who is interested in one thing ends up in the right bucket and at the right place, the right time and all of that. Okay, the last techie thing that could you could be helping with as a virtual assistant is updating the website. I'm not talking about coding a whole new website. I'm not talking about copywriting a sales letter. Um, I'm talking about basic little updates to the website. If you see something wrong, go fix it and take care of it. Quite often I see business owners who haven't fixed the footer, social media links aren't working, they're having a hard time blogging consistently, like they need some fixes in there, work with me page, maybe they need a pop up. But if you can start helping with those websites, you can make yourself really invaluable and a true asset where they're never going to want to like have you leave the team because they need you. And then that can really happen when you know the website and you can make changes because quite often these website designers don't do everything. Like they don't attach analytics. They don't put the pixel in there, the Facebook pixel. Like they don't, haven't done search, a uh, Google search console. Like there's a lot of little things that need to be done. Make it, Maybe it's the tracking code from their ESP. And so if you can step up and help with those and get it done quicker, then that's when you make yourself like a true unicorn and completely irreplaceable. So let's go over that really quick. Five little techie skills you can offer as a virtual assistant, social media scheduling, email marketing, community management, calendar management, and website updates. It doesn't have to be WordPress. You could help with Wix and Squarespace, but getting familiar with the website, super, super important. And that will open up a lot of doors. I just encourage you to join my free Facebook group. If you wanna learn how to be a digital marketing virtual assistant, you can join the link down here below. And I would love it if you like and subscribe to this channel if you are interested in learning about how to become self-employed, start your own business as a digital service provider, a digital marketing virtual assistant is what I like to call it. You are in the right place. I promise some more good information is coming. I also encourage you to check out my podcast, Unicorns Unite. And I also have a free masterclass. It's called How to Work Online. We're going to cover five different roles that online business owners are hiring. We're going to go into depth about that and how to get started working as a virtual assistant. So join that link below the description and I'll see you next week. Bye.